I'm Saya Cat Cosplay of uh, Tegan. Um, this is the first ever video. Someone requested a tutorial video for working with thermoplastic, so I thought I'd just do a little uh, tutorial for you guys. Uh, if you have questions uh, or things that I don't cover, uh, can we cosplay? She's a German cosplayer. She's amazing. She works with Warbler all the time. She has also these great videos. So I'm going to do what I know a little bit about and how I work with Warbler. So there's two different types of thermoplastic that I have been working with. One is Warbler, which is this brown cookie looking stuff. And there's also Wonderflex, which is this bluish white color. They're slightly different. Um, Wonderflex has got this smoother texture. It's backed by fabric, whereas Warbla is uh, rougher and it's actually got wood, tiny wood chips, little pieces of sawdust in it. The properties of both is a little different. They work fairly similarly. I'm using different ones for different pieces. Um, just, I've never worked with Wonderflex before, this is the first time I've actually done it. Uh, so I wanted to actually work with Wonderflex for the first time. So you can uh, work with it in a couple different ways. One of which is to sandwich a piece of craft foam, which is actually right here, in between two layers. And you can also just use one piece of Wonderflex or Warbla and then fold it over a piece of craft foam. Now I use craft foam uh, to give pieces stability. Uh, on its own, Wonderflex or Warbla is very flimsy and tends to wrinkle and you can get shapes that you don't want. So just as an example of something that I've been working on, this is a chest, pla uh, chest piece for uh, Zelda, which I'm building. And you can kind of see there is single layers, there's uh, you know, molded pieces or things that I combined and um, I'm not making much sense, huh? Mm. Um, but there's pieces that are covered over craft foam. Um, there's pieces that have been actually, these were molded over some um, molds. You generally need something to mold um, Warbla on. It takes the shape of whatever you're molding it onto. This was molded on to my uh, dress form, which is right behind my head. Oh, no, by the way, there it is. Um, so if you're working with thermoplastic, generally you need some sort of mold um, to get it into the shape that you want. You can mold it on yourself. I do that a lot. And so things that you need when you're working with thermoplastic are a heat gun and some good scissors. Um, it's a little tough to cut. Um, so you need a pair of scissors that you can dedicate to cutting the harder stuff. So generally what I do when I work with Warbla or Wonderflex is I need a nice big uh, open space where I can cut. Um, and then um, you need a, a pretty good surface for actually heating the stuff up because it does stick to stuff. So uh, usually you can use... Um, not wax paper, uh, oh, might get edited out here. Um, that's not wax paper. Parchment paper, sorry. Parchment paper, um, or you can put a little tiny bit of uh, Vaseline or something on your work surface if it's not a table that you use for other stuff. Um, Cause otherwise this will stick to your table and then you're gonna be very sad. Uh, uh, another way you can work with it is I actually, when I heat it up, I hold it in the air a little bit. Um, and so you, when you heat it up, it's going to get very hot, but uh, you will be able to work with it with your bare hands. But just bear in mind that this uh, it does get very hot and you can burn your fingers. Also, when you're working with a heat gun, be very careful of this end. You will burn yourself if you touch it. So just keep that in mind. This is a little hazardous to your health sometimes. Um, so what I do is you have to heat up the warbler. It'll change color a little tiny bit.
So you can see that when it gets hot, it gets really flimsy. Um, this is why when I'm making armor, either you double up or you can actually triple the sandwich so you can make a sandwich of warbler or you can sandwich craft foam in between. So I've already pre-cut all of these pieces. Um, and so you put one side down, match it up actually the other way around. So this is hot. Um, I probably need to reheat it once I'm heated up the other side. But you just heat up another piece. Take another 30 seconds or so to heat this one up. Actually, move the camera on down so you can see where I'm working. Okay, and you take your other piece and sandwich those two pieces in between. Now you really want to get the edges nice and stuck down to the piece on the bottom. You might need to reheat the bottom piece. When you're working with Warbla or Wonderflex, both sides need to be hot to get a good bond. Should take my scissors all right so now that piece of foam has been thoroughly sandwiched in between these two layers of warbler now uh, I cut down the edges to remove the excess when you're cutting, you want to make sure you don't actually cut too close to the edge of the bond. Um, if you do, you will lose um, the edge. It'll open, the seam will open, and you have to go back in and fix the seam. So you just cut around the two sandwich bits. And there you go, you have a nicely sandwiched piece of foam. And then this can be heated again and bent into whatever shape you're gonna end up bending it into. Um, this is actually gonna be a knee piece, I believe. Um, so it, it'll end up being kind of con uh, compound curve. So Warbla is good for really complex curves. Uh, Wonderflex is doesn't have the ability to curve um, as much as Warbla does. Um, and also, you're going to end up with lots of little scraps. Don't throw these out. You can reuse these. Um, Warbla can be re-blended. Um, and so on this chest piece, all of these details are all from scraps. So um, the scraps come in handy and is making all these little raised uh, details on the chest piece. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do a one piece of Wonderflex just so you can see how ooh, notification, how that heats up. Um, and this is a piece where I'm not sandwiching it, I'm just folding it over. So you're going to see a little bit of the difference in how I work. Ooh, someone's messaging me. I need to turn that off. So Wonderflex actually heats up a little bit faster than Warbler does. Um, so you just have to keep that in mind when you're working with it. And I, I tend to work with it off the surface. I heat it up off the surface. Um, 
because otherwise you can end up burning your surface, your work surface. And Wonderflex tends to be malleable for quite a bit longer, I've found. Just keep that in mind. So now this is nice and hot. And now I'm just going to stick my piece in there. And for when you're doing the just the single layer method, you just fold the edges over, making sure it's not sticking too much. And then if you have any excess on the corners, I just trim that real quick before it cools down. So I get a nice clean edge. See this actually picked up a little bit of my table by accident. Oh well, this table is seen in better days. So uh, War Wonderflex, you can do a little bit of the same stuff that Warbler does. You can recondition scraps and stuff, but it's a little bit harder to work with just because it's fabric backed and not uh, wood chippy. And so you can see that it's just folded down. Um, this has a little bit less stability than something that is uh, totally covered, but this is a little piece. It doesn't need to have that second backing. Um, I use a combination of both just folded over pieces and um, doubled up pieces, and I use these pieces in different ways. This is something that I want a little bit more stability in. Um, I want a little bit more workability um, this is basically going to stay like this. It's not going to get uh, curved really severely or anything like that. So it doesn't really need to uh, be any more complex than this. Um, so that is how I work with Warble and Wonderflex and how you can get nice pretty stuff like this. Um, so. Uh, Something like this, um, you do need a form to form the curves. Um, you can either do it on yourself or on a dress form or on a rolling pin or water bottle or something like that. And so uh, this has gone on long enough. And uh, if you have any questions, comment in the comment section or you can visit my cosplay page, which is going to be in the description down below. Bye.